All right, part two, and it's almost 5 a.m. Woohoo! All right, well, like I was saying before, that I really just been going through a lot, and I have just haven't had time to do DCW, but like also I was saying about, uh, uh, Homer, WEDF, Sprite, really, all I can say is if they don't like me, they can really just kiss my ass. I don't care. Me, I've never really been, let me just say it to you, uh, in a way you can understand, I've never really been uh, popular, and I've never generally been Mr. Friend. Mr. Everyone wants to be their friend with. I don't give a crap if it's wrong or not. Really, uh, the only thing that I could really say is that I just, I just don't really care. I mean, really, at 5 a.m., I should be probably just be in bed, but I'm taking care of my grandfather and he's blind and deaf and I need to, if he ever has to go to the bathroom, I need to be awake to get him. So, yeah, really. If he says he has to go to the bathroom anytime, soon I'll stop, stop the video and I'll go and get him. And, you know, I don't really feel that I should, you know, I should have to explain, I don't feel that I need to give an explanation for my actions, but I still choose to do it, and I told Homer and Sprite exactly how I felt, and I don't feel sorry whatsoever for saying it, you know, they make jokes about the Avengers. They went even as far as changing my name to the Avenger on on something awful. All apparently just to poke fun at me. whip de doo I've had Burt do much worse things with me than ever. Really, all I have to say is Homer is pretty much like the lesser Burt. I mean... Really, uh, I could say that I do respect Homer, Homer in some way in terms of call, like the actual call. I can give him props on his call. I mean, he did make a really good call. I love Matt Icorn. It's a very good call. And I recently learned out something new that I didn't know about. I didn't know that Matt Icorn was actually his name, actually Homer's real name. Icorn, I mean, Matt... I could believe it was his name, but Icorn just doesn't seem like a believable name to me. But, yeah, I don't know. There's so many different names out there. I mean, I can pretty much be open to think about anyone's name. And, really, I can also give them props on being great at commentary. And, what people like Hell's Oshu Jacks, Homer, and what them all need to believe is that I'm some kind of selfish person. I believe I'm the greatest commentator in the world. I ooze out all this ego and all this make believe crap that you'd have to watch MTV to see. Really? You really think that I give a crap about my voice? I don't even think I am a good commentator. Hell, I don't. I know I'm not the best commentator. Hell, I'll put a sign and say I'm a bad commentator. Really, I know I'm a horrible commentator. Hell, I wouldn't recommend myself to colleagues. 
the colleagues that do want me to do commentary, they ask me. I don't ask them, they ask me to do commentary. And people like WDF, they say I'm such a mean person. I'm saying crap about their leagues. I make fun of everything they do. I pull, push their buttons. Really, WDF is have to be the most stubborn person I know in call. I mean, the amount of stubbornness one man can contain is really amazing. Like, I multiple times told WEDF I was playing around. I didn't mean anything I said. And he just chooses to, to think of it in the negative perspective. And, you know, being all rageous and saying, Oh, but you have a deal with me. You have beef on me. Honestly, dude, I don't care. Really, you should know from anyone that we have never liked each other. I tried to be friends, and I think you've said before that you tried to be friends with me. Really, we've never been friends. And honestly, I'm okay with it. I don't really care. What do I have to gain from being your friend? Really, what? Oh, I have one extra person to talk to on something call for. Oh, wow, well, if I'm really nice to WDF, Sean Dynasty might get in. Oh, my God, if I am friends with WDF, I might be able to commentate WDF. But, really, I don't care. Really, I watch WDF because I like it, not because I expect myself to be in the commentary or and I watched WDF just because I admit it's a great league and I would recommend it to anyone. Me, a lot of the people I dislike are actually people I respect and call. I mean Sprite, even though I hate him a lot with with a passion when it comes to it, I could say I still respect him for you know, being good at making storylines, and I could say for making an awesome call, I can respect it. I mean, and anyone who knows, like, and, you know, I don't feel like I've ever had a problem with Ocean Jacks. Me and him have rarely ever talked to each other. I could pretty much sum up all me and Ocean Jacks conversations in probably like three sentences. So, you know, I never felt like I had much of a problem with with Osha Jacks. The only thing, the only single thing he's ever said to me that's really ticked me off was how I went to, like, I don't know if he exactly said, I know someone said it. They said, I went to CCL because, um, Sean Dynasty went to CCL because I was tired of the treatment that Vivian Burst did. Really? I went, I'm just going to leave this, say this. I went to CCL because I thought it was a good league. And really, I wanted to give it a chance. I said, what the hell do I have to lose? I went for it. And people said, I did it to go over somewhere besides in the Vivian verse. Well, really, if that was my plan, I was screwed. I only won like one match while I was in CCL. While Sean was in CCL, I mean. I mean, so really, if my plan was to go over, I really got effed over on that deal. And anyone who knows, like, Biff Andreas could probably, well, actually, I know he could speak up for me on this. I told Biff, man to man, that, that I care more about him winning titles and I care about Sean winning titles why because I mean I guess in some way I do feel guilty about what I used to say about Beth yes but I mean it's more like that me and Beth have become such great friends that I look at it as that he deserves it a lot more I mean, we're such great friends that I, I want to see him accomplish more than I want to see myself and really, 
That's how it goes to. Now, I admit that I have on purposely pushed Homer's buttons, and I do it for fun. I admit it. I'm a troll. I like to troll people. I love to find their weak points, and I love to aggravate the hell out of them. That's what I do. And also, yes! 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 That's for you, Homer, if you're listening. Really? Or, wait a minute. Woo, woo, woo! You know it. Alright, that's two things. The thing is, what I think, like, is my, the re- biggest reason why I don't like Homer is because of how he's treated some of the people that I know. And this is how the name The Avengers came. Because I said that I did... God, I'm trying to muster up the words in this. Forgive me. But... I said that I was out to avenge the people that Homer didn't mean to. And I do not take back what I said. I mean it with full, my full heart. Get like, in Cobb, there's a, you know, even in real life, there's a, a border between playing around and just being a jackass. I mean, really, there is a big border between it. And Homer, he can be a really funny guy at times. I'll admit that. He can be a real funny guy. But sometimes he tries to be so funny that he actually goes into the jackass area. And really, that's what I don't like. Him and Sprite the same way. And that's how it goes. And a lot of my good friends that I've had, they didn't deserve any, and I mean any, of the the harshness that that Homer, Sprite, and all the rest of them dished out to them. And me, I don't regret what I said because I feel that what I'm doing makes me a good friend to all my friends. So if being a good friend makes me stupid, then I'll fine, I'll say I'm stupid. Me, like guys like Hadouken, on times with that, like with what Biff does, like with the storyline with the whole alien embryo going in, that's all fun and games. That's good. But some of the stuff that Homer says is to, to Hadouken, I mean, sometimes I'm purposely meant to make fun of him. And sometimes it's all good and fun and games and stuff. And you know, I'm more than willing to play around with but I play around with him a little bit. But sometimes he comes off as a jackass. And really, that's what I don't like. People like, uh, people like Homer and Sprite, they don't know the difference between playing around and just being mean. Really, they don't. And what's funny about Homer is that he's so used to being the funny guy that if he's put in a serious situation, he can't even react to it. I mean, I remember that whole... Hell's interview, that interview he did with Hell's, where he's like, going like, well, you know, huh, you, well, you know this and you know that. God, we all know. We all know you don't like me. Get the hell on with it. Or, or, oh, well, I know this and you know he did this and this and this and blah, 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 blah. I mean, really, he keeps on finding himself repeating the same words over and over again. And hell, I'm getting mad. And you see me saying, I know, I know, I know. Well, you know, huh? You know, huh? You know, huh? I mean, really. The guy, I mean, alright. <sighs> Calm down. Alright. Uh, your last few minutes will be in part three. And it should be the final part. Okay, bye-bye.